Hey there! Today we're going to learn how to use StatUp to do a proportions test. Now, a proportions test is when you have two variables and you can you can score these variables on a sort of a zero to one basis, right? So, without getting too abstract, there, let me create that data set for you and kind of show you what a proportion is and how we can test them. Let's say that we have two products, A and B, and let's say that we pulled a bunch of people. Um, about their level of support, would they purchase the product? And we're going to code it uh, one for yes if they say they definitely want the product, and we'll just say zero for no if they do not definitely want the product. Let's just go ahead and actually create that. I'm going to leave this code up here for you to see. If you want to recreate that, just push enter and edit. And when we go in there, we can see that A and B have some number of people who said yes. And as you can see, the number is different for A and B, and some number of people who said no. And we can also see that it's the same uh, 310 people we surveyed them, but it doesn't matter. Like, let's say that B had 100 more respondents than A. None of that matters because um, in this setup for a proportions test, you don't have to have uh, equal size samples. All right, so what do you do? Here's the syntax. You're going to say PR test. And you're going to look at your two variables. So let's just pick A first and then two equal signs and B and enter. And we can actually make that look a little bit better by redoing that and making the window big. And by the way, this shows you a little stata trick that if you squeeze this window up, it also um, can mess with the depiction of the graphics and the code. So you can always expand that window. And now we can see it looks so much cleaner. All right. Well, it looks like uh, about 36% of people said definitely to A and 27 and some percent of people said definitely to B. Now, here is what matters down here is the P values. We can see that the proportion of people who said definitely to A is significantly greater than the proportion of people who said definitely to B. Now, that is if you had a one-tailed hypothesis structure, right? But let's say that you had a two-tailed hypothesis and you just wanted to see, does this differ? Uh, you know, does the proportion of A supporters differ from the proportion of B supporters? In that case, you come over here, which is status version of a two-tailed p-value. And as you can see, it's still statistically significant. We would just rephrase that. And we would say that the proportion of supporters of A is significantly different from the proportion of supporters of B. P equals 0 0.0251.